G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of really rapidly working out percentages of a number. Okay, and this is something you can easily do in your head uh, as, you, as you're living your day to day lives without having to pull out a phone or anything like that to work it out, a calculator or anything like this. So, I'll give you an example of this. So, say you got something like 30% of 40. Now, look, straight away you should be able to look at the answer to this as 12. Now, I'll tell you how I did this. And this is literally how quick you can do these. Um, and it's because of this. Look, just a quick bit of an explanation. This will take a minute, so I apologise. If you have a short attention span, you might want to skip over a minute and I'll just get to the nuts and bolts. But this is really worth knowing how to do. Um, so say 30 out of a percent means 30 out of 100. Okay? Of times... And 40, we've got 40 over 1. So this is typically that setup they used to get you probably doing at school, maybe they're getting you doing now when you work out percentages. And so we can start cancelling zeros out because this means divided by 100. So 30 divided by 10. Yeah, okay, so we've got, we're dividing both bits by there by 10. So 30 divided by 10 is 3 and 100 divided by 10. And we're dividing the 40 here also by 10. Okay, so we're ending up with 3 times 4. You're going to see here, that is, I'm dividing by 10, dividing by 10. Okay, and then I'm just multiplying them out. So 3 times 4 is 12. I'm only looking at the first parts of these numbers here. Pretty easy, right? So what about, we'll give you a go doing these. Now some people are already going to look at this and go, hey, I knew that already. And that's, that's what we're going to be having a look at in this video. So if you're already good with that, that's great. Um, this is meant for if you're not, and this is brand new. Okay, so say you had something like 20% of, let's go, 18. Ah, actually, we'll stick to bigger numbers to the start off. I'll show you how you deal with these other ones in a sec, okay? So say you had 20% of 18. The way that you go about doing these, once again, you can cancel out your zeros, okay? So 2 times 18, get the answer of 36. All right? I'll let you do one of these, okay? So, so say it was something like, um, what about... 50% of, say, we had 40. So, hopefully what you're doing is you've cancelled out those two zeros, and you've gone 5 times 4, the answer's 20. That's really easy, right? If you if you haven't been doing that method already, you probably feel like you've been a little bit robbed that you haven't known it already, right? <laughs> anyway, I'll show you what you do once they start to get a little bit harder. What was that? Say I had... Um, <laughs> because occasionally not everything's going to be these multiples of 10s, are they? So, look, uh, if it was, say, something like... Um, let's go back to that one we had before. 20% of 18... That was the one I crossed out rapidly before when I realised I was getting ahead of myself. If you're doing this one, okay, so we're dividing by 10 and we're getting 2. We're dividing by 10 here and we're getting 1.8. You're going to see this each time we're cancelling out those zeros, we're dividing by 10. Okay, so we're ending up with 2 times 1.8. 2 times 1.8, two groups of 1.8, is going to be 3.6. So do you get that? I'll give you another example of where you might do this, and then we'll get you doing one. Or you might feel confident enough to do this yourself. Say you uh, do 30% of 12. Okay. So we get rid of that zero. We jump the decimal place here. So 3 times 1.2, we're going to get the answer of 3.6. Okay. What about you give one a go? Um, nah, get rid of that there. What about we do, so say, well, I'll give you something like 40% of, let's go, 15. Hopefully you know the answer to this already, right? Paused it, worked it out. Get rid of that zero there. Jump that one there. 4 times 1.5, we get the answer of 6. Okay. How'd you go with that? So, it's not too bad. So, it's a really handy little method um, for just working out day-to-day. -day. Now, look, once we start to get to numbers like, say, we're working out, say, 65% uh, of 82, all of a sudden, you're going to notice that it does get a little bit uh, harder, yeah? So, look, 
I've got a video and I'll put a link up with how you might deal with these because this one's a little bit of a special case. You'd, you're probably, if, you, if you're looking at this still, you're probably not going to be at the stage where you're going 6.5 times 8.2 and doing that in your head, okay? But hey, even if you're at the stage, you can pull something, a calculator out and do that. You may be better off than where you were. But I've got a video, I'll put a link up on how you can deal with these and start working these out in your head as well. Okay, um, anyway, by the way, 65% um, of 82, the answer to that is uh, 53.30, just in case you you had worked that out. Okay, anyway, uh, hopefully that was of some help to you. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.